The guys should have credited us actually upon the usage requirements and I was really shocked man standing on the metro station and grinning from ear to ear. That was incredible. Hey guys, today we see more and more interesting artists. So to cope with that, we decided to make short videos apart from the long ones, which you can watch on this channel studio-wise. So don't forget to subscribe and tap the bell button not to miss anything new. And now let's get it all started. Please guys, give it up for Dennis Padalian, the beatmaker himself, and Dmitry Metax, the artist and performer. They have created the trap version of famous Russian song called Murka, which ASAP Rocky was dancing to just before the release of Babushka Boy song. So guys, please tell us the story behind the scenes, just from the initial Murka concept to the final outcome where ASAP is dancing to this. Okay, so we have a friend who is referred to as Misha Lil Dost, a video vlogger. Yeah, he's so cool, he came up with all this. So he rings me up and says, hey dude, I've come up with something crazy, man, just listen to that. So his sparkling mind was blessed with this awesome idea and he goes like, come on man, Asap Rocky's babushka snippet is going viral right now and the whole Rocky's fan base is going crazy, so let's go and figure out something. And then goes like, it should be Buranova granny style, like famous Russian Buranovsky babushki. Like Russian trends in the house, yo. Yeah, like Asap Rocky and Buranova grannies mixed together. So we made it Buranova grannish, but with dark and creepy funk music sound. There were five different versions of Buranova Granny's beat, but when we finally get it to Murga version, Misha said, that's the real stuff, man. Yeah, it's called Russian Babushka Boy. So you were creating the music scores for Misha's Lil Dost YouTube channel, right? Yeah, it was the first collab with Misha's YouTube channel, where he invites various artists. And he also brought Rocky in, who was coming to Russia for the first time. He reached out to Rocky's management, and we were producing music for the show, like jingles and the stuff, and Russian Babushka Boy was one of the jingles made in a funk chanson style. Okay, and how did this track make it through to Asap Rocky? Well, we were gearing up to the show, sharing all these ideas and sketches with Rocky's management, and when we finally recorded and showed this mambo jumbo murka stuff to the guys, in a while they said, Rocky has checked this out and really liked that, so he's going to use it in his video. And we go like, what, seriously? And after that, the Misha just gave it away to our Western brothers and said, take it up guys, but don't forget to credit the authors. And that was the sticking point actually, what we tried to recapture in our own version of the trailer. Despite we gave it all for free, the guys should have credited us upon the usage requirements. Do you mean credits in the title? No, we were like giving it for free, but we wanted them to credit us somewhere, like in the end of the trailer, for example. And we thought it was a deal. And then comes the snippet, and then this short trailer, and we hear our production, which Rocky is dancing to, and it blows our minds, and we go like, what the... Yeah, man, we just couldn't believe that. And no references, right? No, we were expecting the credits in the end, like just our names on a black background. Yeah, or some references in the description, yo. And how much time? past. I mean, since you sent the track to Rocky until the final trailer was released. Well, half a year or so, I believe. So it was such a long story that you forgot about this, right? Well, yeah, we started to produce it when Rocky came to Soho Club in Moscow to give a concert. It was in winter and the staff was released quite recently, so it makes half a year. I guess it's because he was doing his time in prison then, and it was whispered that somebody explained Rocky the whole concept of this Russian gangster Murka. Russian national gangster man, and it was Misha who let Rocky in on this, and when Rocky was out, with a scar on his face, he just put this puzzle like it together. Like into your hands, right? I mean, it's a hell of a coincidence, bro, like, out of all possible songs, he releases Murka, and after all this Russian gangster Murka story, he gets into trouble and winds up in prison in Sweden. What's about your author's share? Have you signed any papers? Any fees received? I expected that question, dude. Have you ever got paid for this? Papers with Rocky? Come on, dude, I wish we did, but no way. The thing is, Misha is a bro, he decided just to give it away. Maybe Misha signed anything, huh? No, we just share it for free and that's it. So ideally you can claim the author is right, yeah? 
Well, sort of. It was a sneaky move, you know? Misha gave it for free, but asked for credits. But it is what it is. But still, it's a huge experience for us, and we really appreciate the guys and the whole story. Please tell us something about yourself to get closer to our subscribers. Top collaborations, some successful cases. Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Padillion, Russian producer and beat maker. I collaborate with many different artists, both old and new school. I produced for Estet, Thomas Mraz, Pharaon, Boulevard de Pose, or half of Ufa City, Russia. You've made beats for those guys, right? Yeah, man, I'm a beat maker first, but still have some feats, because I'm an artist too, bro. Sing nice songs and stuff. Now cooking something new, but it's a secret so far, so coming soon. There won't be Padillion that you expect, so you'll be surprised. So you started as a beat maker, but now transforming to an artist. Yeah, I like humming to my own beats, like I really enjoy it. So while producing, you come up with lyrics, right? Exactly, I just couldn't make something out of it. But now I know how it works, I'm familiar with the kitchen and feel the styles I want to embrace, like soul or jazz. And what's about you, Dima? What you're up to? Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Medics from Moscow, Stroganon district, Sharai Tower Gang, yo. My natural habitat is Tambur Studio. I'm a sound engineer and a producer. Worked with Fiduk, OG Buddha, Big Baby Tape. And by the way, Gimme the Loot song was recorded in my studio. So we've made some big steps, bro. And we've also I also made a platinum album, yo, but more than a year I have been working solo as an artist. We started from true classical rap, didn't go commercial at that time, and then we picked up the pace and made it to our first album in spring. And now we're going to release some music videos and we just keep going, bro. And now it's time to go deeper into the beat by Padillion. Let's go for it. Thanks God, now we're talking. Traditionally, we are going to get into the beat itself. I think it's really simple, right? And it didn't take much time from you. True story, bro. Made it for 20 minutes or so. At first, for quite long, I was just tapping the smurka melody at my place. Here is the plugin called 3 Sask, a truly basic stock FL plugin, just three plain knobs and that's it. You use all the FL version? Yeah, the old one, and everything is so primitive here, just look at it. I was just playing this Russian Morka melody. So I just played it for about 15 minutes or so, and that's it. And the rest 5 minutes I devoted to drums, bass and everything else. So the main reason of all the fuzz and why Rocky got hooked on this is actually 808 Cowbell. Well, Rocky used the same one in the original track, right? That's right, it's just from a standard sound pack, you know? Just the usual 808 drum pack with all these drums in it, including Cowbell. I added some delay by Kajaris, a very good plugin by the way, have been using it for almost 7 years. Then comes a standard reverb, delay and some EQ just to boost the treble. I also cut low end to reduce the noise and Russian Murka did the rest, man. Now that's where it gets really interesting, you hear this sound that repeats itself. I think that's the point where Rocky gets hooked on the beat, 100%. What's next? The drums, the simplest part of the track. I listen out for the old babushka snippet and try to make the sound alike. Then comes the Ronnie J bass from Ronnie J drum kit. I added some lo-fi effect here to make it sound hissy, just a little and goddamn 5 minutes EQ, which looks really strange because I didn't want to split hairs about it and made it really fast. But it's still groovy, isn't it? Hi-hat is quite simple here, but it's unique in a way, with a tiny squeak on its tail. The squeak tail, you hear? It happens because this tail of the hi-hat sound just repeats itself. So, this looping tail makes this offbeat squeaky effect, and instead of having a usual trap hi-hat, we have this fizzy one that makes for groove and stuff. Who's mommy's producer, yo? We also have a classic funk snare here that just punch you in the face right away. It's really punchy with low end boost and no effects, right? Exactly, then comes Bill Gates' kick, taken from Boy Wanda sound pack. Really veteran kick by legendary producer Boy Wanda, so I borrow the kicks sometimes. 
Those kicks have fat overdrive, which they loved back in 2016, and it's popular in Russian trap nowadays. Again, no EQs and no effects, and together it sounds like this. And the bass line is just a one-shot sample, right? Yeah, man, just a one-shot bass. Like Lil Pump style and last funk-like acapella sample. Cause it's funk music, you know what I mean? Like Rocky adores it, this funk and Memphis style. Here we just have a high pass filter to cut the low end, like always. Initially we have a slowdown effect by Crossbeat here, but then we throw it off cause it sounds good anyway. This acapella was taken from the Memphis sound pack. Just go take and use it. You'll find a huge amount of them from the old tracks of 3-6 Mafia, Juicy J and many other sampled songs of the 90s. And what's in the master channel? Ok, so master channel is as usual. Multiband compressor with a preset called Mastering 2.4 and just stock a fell limiter. They say it's better to switch the limiter off while producing, but since I have been using it for 10 years already, I know how to make it sound good, bro. And I also used to gain it over like this. Come on, you gotta be kidding me. No man, it was quite groovy back then, during the SoundCloud rush of 2016. You mean overdrive? Yeah, bro, cause nobody knew how to make a really groovy kick, yo. And they would do it over and over to make this kick fat Do enough. you always use such a simple master? Yeah, man, and it's really simple indeed. And I also like to add this 2.4 multiband compressor preset to the best line. Plus, this standard fertile limiter preset, which you can just find here by clicking File, New Project and choose Minimal Basic with Limiter. Let's check how much time did it take to create this beat. And where can I check this it's shit? It's an options project info. 1 hour and 24 minutes? Well, it's not really quick, but still. Ok, let's check the very first version then. It's 1 hour and 6 minutes. That's normal. And how did you know about this trailer? Was it a homie who shared this? <laughs> oh, that's the real story, bro. Just listen. I was in the subway going to my studio. The internet goes really bad. And my homies chat me the moment like, Rocky's just released your B. What's that supposed to mean? Like, Rocky has just released your beat. Those asses don't specify like a sub Rocky in a 30 seconds video or something. Rocky's just released my beat and I beg them to share it. But I'm in the subway, bad connection, bro, so I vanish upstairs like a freak to catch the net and watch it. And I was really shocked, man, standing on the metro station and grinning from ear to ear. That was incredible. And my homies go crazy about it. They adore Sub Rocky much more than me, bro. I respect him, but I'm not a huge fan like my brothers, so they paid me respect all day long, man. And what drives me crazy is that I was trying to rent a flat that day because I was moving. And guess what station I was going from to rent it? Strogino district? Babushkinska metro station. <laughs> Oh, it's written on the wall, man. And is it true, by the way, that the flat owner rented to you because he liked the track? Exactly, man, that's the real stuff. Hey, Asap, respect you, bro. I rent my flat on Babushkinska metro station, so tell me if you need cool beats, yo. Guys, don't forget to share your ideas and the beat in the comments, and we move on. So guys and girls, that was the story behind the track Babushka Boy, so please tell me in the comments below who's gonna be next on the show. And we also have something for you guys. Babushka has prepared something for you here. Wow, dude! Specially branded studio-wise cups. And you will also find the stickers inside. Oh, thank you, brother, it's so cool! That's for you, man. Thanks for watching this video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel StudioWise. Take care!